Hello world, welcome to the Totally Not Evil Robot Army. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the design of a new robot I called Centipede or Senti. The idea behind Centipede is to basically to see if I could build a multi-leg robot using chopsticks as legs and uh, 3D printing. We'll see what we can do. The concept around this is that there'd be a mechanism that would allow for this chopstick to move and rotate around a center point and then I could have many legs that are used by one motor that could drive all of the legs together. To start on this idea I put, went to the CAD system and started what I would call a draft and then I 3D printed that draft, 3D printed it. This is a, a concept, the first concept kind of coming out. Inside you can see here that the chopstick has got a, a ball that's inside of a socket and that behind that is a cam that can rotate on an axis. I built a very simple frame to go about doing that. Here you can see if I could rotate that cam, then it should be able to move the leg. This was good enough to prove to the point that, yeah, this seems to be possible, but let's see if we can basically connect up a gear to this cam in order to be able to drive it from a motor. So I went through the next iteration of the design in the CAD system, and this is the next iteration. From here you can see it still has the ball that's locked inside of a socket, and then the uh, chopstick is moving around a cam. I've added a bearing to the construction. The cam has a shaft on it that goes back to a gear, and that gear would be connected to another gear that would be attached to the drive mechanism. All of this turning should be able to create the motion necessary for the, uh, for the centipede to, to walk. Now each of this would be considered a module that would be connected together and I've got the uh, holes put in the, the units here in order to be able to connect multiples of these together and the gear should interlock in such a way that one motor spinning that gear should be able to drive multiple legs. But this is just a draft. As you can see here, the tolerance on the, the bearing is, is a little bit, leaves a lot to be desired. And, uh, and the gears themselves uh, are a little bit, I've raised the, created a larger gear set here. This seems to be working but uh, I probably would go to a little bit larger uh, uh, gear, uh, larger teeth, lower numbers of teeth, but larger gears, because I don't think we need to have quite this many uh, in, the, in the design session. So moving forward, uh, I can see from my draft that yes, the concept does work. Um, attaching the gears to this would be, allow me to get the motion that I need, but um, but it needs to go through the next iteration of the design. Uh, I think I would like this concept and we'll build a module around this concept uh, that can connect together, but one question comes to mind is which way is up? Perhaps up is, uh, is this way and the frame goes for the robot supporting the legs, or maybe it's underneath it. Uh, that has yet to be decided. Uh, I think I uh, don't want to rule out anything at this point in time. Um, and then the question comes in with the larger chassis. Will it be angled or will it need to be flat? So, uh, and then how do I mount the motors on that? So, it's a good, good to get this far, but I think it's now ready to go to uh, the next phase of the design. Uh, this uh, draft proved out the point that it's capable of working. It's kind of a rapid prototype. And let's see what we can design next. Thanks. We'll be back with more, more robots.